Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be talking about how to perform a pivot table in Microsoft Excel 2016. If you saw my previous video on some ifs functions, you will be very familiar with this data set. It's just a very simple sales data set which consists of a PO number, an order date, a sale region, a sales representative, sale item, unit sold, unit cost, and the total okay and what i would like to accomplish today is i just want to develop a quick and easy tool that allows me to customize and summarize my data and the perfect approach to take to doing this is by using utilizing the functionality of a pivot table okay so the first thing we're going to want to do is to select our entire data range now when you're doing this you want to just keep in mind that you need to include the column names because that's how a pivot table identifies your data okay so the first thing i'm going to do is just select a1 and then do Control shift down and then Control shift right and now we have our entire data selected next we're going to click insert and then we're going to click pivot table and what that does is it opens a create pivot table window and we can see this is the range that we already selected and then it's going to ask us if we want a new worksheet or an existing worksheet I like the new worksheet just because it's cleaner. So let's just go ahead and keep that selected and then just click OK. So that'll open up an entirely new tab for us and it'll open up the, um, I guess you could call it a pivot table builder, right? Uh, the first thing you may notice is the column names. And this is kind of what I was referring to earlier. This is how the pivot table identifies our data, okay? Next, you will see four different fields where we could drag and drop this data, okay? Now what's nice about this is that it allows you to customize how you want to show your pivot table, okay? Uh, I, I, I found that the best way to teach how to do a pivot table is just working through an example. So let's say for example, I'm a sales manager and I'm interested in how my uh, business is doing from a regional perspective and I wanna analyze that based off of the total sales. And let's say maybe I wanna filter by like sale item or something, okay? So to get started, I'm just gonna go ahead and select a region and I'm gonna drag and drop region into rows, okay? So we see our three different regions here. Next, I'm gonna select uh, total sales. So I'm gonna drag and drop total sales and drop that into values. Now, Excel is pretty smart. So now I already automatically assumed that I am interested in the sum of my total sales, but if you're not interested in the sum, you can just go ahead and left click here and then choose value fields settings, okay? And then just choose what you're interested in. So maybe I'm interested in average. I could just select average, say okay, and then here are my average sales by region. Uh, in this particular example, I think it makes more sense to look at the sum though. So let's do sum, okay. And then we also mentioned uh, that we're interested in filtering it by item. So let's just drag and drop item into filters, okay? And I'm gonna do us a favor and just uh, format column B in a different number format, uh, just so we could get a better view of the numbers, okay? Perfect. Now, uh, we can see here that this is total sales by region. We can see that Central seems to be having the most sales. Uh, followed by east and then finally west, okay? And we have a drop down for our filter. So this allows me to just select what item I'm interested. So maybe I'm only interested in binders. I could just select binders, say okay. And then here's the total sales performance by region for binders, all right? Now you can see that really you could just customize this however you like. So maybe I wanna dive deeper down into this example and just understand uh, what is the uh, main contribution to uh, these high central sales, right? Uh, so maybe I'm interested in what sales representative is contributing to this high number. So I could just go ahead and drag and drop sales rep and drop it underneath region in the rows uh, field, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we could uh, see all of our different sales representatives by region. And the first thing I really notice is that the central region seems to be having uh, the most sales reps, so that could be uh, a big contributing factor into why the central region seems to be having the most sales. Uh, the next thing I notice is that this particular salesperson seems to be selling a lot more binders than, let's say, Andrews, which seems to be selling the worst, okay? So uh, that's a very nice quick summary of your sales data by region and by sales representative. Um, of course, you can always 
toggle this to all so you're not just limiting yourself to binders and you can see that you can just customize however you see fit so maybe I'm not even interested in the sales representative anymore and I don't want to filter by sale item maybe I want a uh, region point of view broken down by item uh, for total sales right so I could just drag and drop item uh, and drop it underneath the region okay so uh, that's about it for the pivot table tutorial. If you liked the video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Um, and please comment what you'd like to see next. Thank you.